Man, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Brandon Burns. Just hopping out of this video real quick. Uh, yeah, man, just uh, getting on to it, man. Talk about the, the situation with Bob and there, uh, the Houston Texans owner. And, you know, his, his pretty much his apology. I mean, it was pretty much, it was pretty much very mediocre. And, uh, it was just mediocre, man. It was, uh, I mean... I mean, what can I say? It's mediocre. I mean, I mean, he just—it was basically it's kind of like right off the, uh, the, you know, the status quo. And uh, and I think the Houston Texans—I think they're going, they're going, per, they're going to do some protesting. They saying like maybe 60, 70 percent of the team is going to kneel in uh in response of the comment that you know he made. A few days ago, well, I'm probably looking. I'm probably looking back, looking at that like uh, sixteen, seventy percent to me is just not enough, man. Actually, it should be the entire team. Um, a hundred percent really should be. Uh, actually, not just kneeling, but um, I'll I'll take I'll take off the Houston decal off the. I'm like, man, we, well, I don't want to wear this. I don't want to wear that Houston uh, logo, at least for this game, to make a statement like, yo, you know, I mean, but I think in my book, I think it would actually go a little bit more extreme if, you know, you say, you know what, we're boycotting the game. So you go out to forfeit. So that will leave a very dramatic statement um, in my in my eyes, you know what I'm saying. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm like I said right now. That's what um, they were talking to Dwayne Brown. You know, he's kind of like one of the, the the real leaders of the of the locker room. You know, he wasn't there for several weeks. You know, he was trying to get his money. I can't blame him that. Um, so we're gonna probably see what what, what their reaction would be because right now the whole league and kind of like the the world is looking at the Houston Texans. So it's kind of see what they're going to do. I mean, I mean, look, look, I mean, I know 100% of the team is not going to be on board, but I, I hopefully, I hopefully want to see all the black players on board. Now, if all the black players not on board, then there's some serious issues going on, not just with the team, but probably the entire uh, mindset and the psychology of, Psyche of the pretty much the black players themselves. Uh, you know they play Seattle. They're very outspoken, uh, so they definitely gonna take their protest to them as well. Um, so it's you know the whole you know the world's gonna see what the the players do. Um, and there you know he gave an apology. It was kind of lukewarm status. I mean a lot of people's not buying it. I mean I really don't really care. I mean I gave. I gave my my point from the last one, so I really don't care. Um, but they're still outraged about the kneeling. I think uh, in South Dakota there was a uh, a guy who who had blackface had a sign saying "kneel for money," um, basically going towards the NFL, you know, the black players in the league. So it's a, it's still a very uh, racially. Uh, Tense situation going. Um, they did set up a meeting with Cap, so that's I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what would come about that. Um, also, too, you know they, you know there's a hurt, there was a, a tropical storm uh, that just hit um, the Caribbean, like Puerto Rico, then Cuba, I think a little bit of Jamaica. Um, it was just a tropical storm. But, you know, still, again, Tropical Storm is, like, at 50%, 50 miles, 50, 60, 65 mile per hour wind. So, that's still somewhat bad. For Puerto Rico, still recover from the Hurricane Maria, that's, that's just, that just really hamper and prolong the, you know, the, the reconstruction over there. So, you know, as I say, my prayers go out to them, you know, to Puerto Rico, to the whole islands out there. You no, know, it's like everybody's getting it. You know, everybody's getting somewhat hit. Um, but yeah, man, just a touch basis with that. Uh, so right now we're gonna see what the Houston Texans do, man. I mean, they 
The ball is kind of like in their court. All right, one.